Grade 8 Math number 9.2c, Graphing Reflections. Translations and reflections are types of transformations. The reflections are like mirror images of the figure, and they have the same side lengths and angle measures. They're just not laying the same direction. Their orientation is different. To reflect across a line of reflection, we reflect each of the figure's vertices and then draw lines around to connect the vertices to make the image. So remember, each point and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection, and that line of reflection doesn't have to be an X or a Y axis. It could be anywhere. It could even be a diagonal. So we've got our blue triangle here on our grid, and we want to graph a reflection of that blue triangle. So the first thing we do is locate the first point X, and that's right here. Okay, And can you see where it's located? This says negative 7 here, and it's on a 1 for the x-axis, isn't it? So it's at 1, negative 7. So the ordered pair for its location is 1, negative 7. So x prime, its reflection, is going to be in the opposite location. It's going to be at 1, positive 7. See that? It's going to be above the x-axis line, because that's our point, that's our line of reflection. Let me get this cap off here. So we're going to be at 1 positive 7 for x prime. See that? For y, y is at 8 negative 3. It's right here. It's at 8 negative 3. So y prime is going to be opposite. It's going to be at 8 positive 3. See that? And z is at 10 negative 8, so it's going to be at, z prime will be at 10 positive 8. It's at 10, right here, you can see it's at the 10 and negative 8. So z prime is going to be at 10 positive 8. See? Now, we can connect the points of x prime, y prime, and z prime to create the triangle. I hope I can do this straight without making any mistakes here. It's kind of hard to do while holding the camera here. All right, so that's close. All right, so each vertex is the same distance from the line of reflection as the original triangle. Now look at the guiding lines that I've got here. See? It brought this point up to here, it brought this point to here, and it brought this point way up to here. See that? And it's extremely important to label each vertex correctly, because if we mess up the labeling, it won't make any sense. If we say that this is z and this is x prime, and that's z prime, it wouldn't make any sense, because that means that it flipped around that way. See? That actually would be a rotation. We're not doing that. We're just doing a mirror image, okay? So if z is up here, when we do the mirror image, z will now be down here. See? Really, really important. Now, did you notice my purple guiding lines are parallel? Look at these purple guiding lines that I drew to get from x to x prime. See? And to get to y to y prime and z to z prime. Look at They're parallel. And they kind of make a 3D image, don't they? It kind of makes it look like a triangular prism. So that's how we graph reflections. We just find the point and put it at the opposite point on the grid, okay, across the line of reflection. It's extremely important that we count the spaces and make sure we're the same distances for each point, all right? We're going to continue on, and we're going to move to our next topic, which is rotation. We're going to talk about this guy right here, okay? All right, I'll see you in 9.3a. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget I'm on Twitter and on Patreon.com, and I've even turned fan funding on for YouTube. I don't know how long I'm going to have that on, because I don't know if it even works, but I would really appreciate your support. I'll see you in 9.3a. Bye.